All right, guys, now we're back here. And what we've got left is we've got the six millimeter screws, the M3s that we are not using yet. We're gonna set those aside because those go on when we use the top plates. We can set that aside. Our focus right now is gonna be to get, uh, go ahead and grab your uh, flight controller right here. And also make sure to grab the four 20 millimeter screws. Uh, and also please grab the, um, try to get the green uh, spacers right here. Okay, that's all we need. So you need the four 20 millimeter screws, the nylon the nylon fasteners that were with them, and your flight controller and the frame. And we're gonna go to step number two now, put everything else away, and here we go. First thing is if you fastened, if you put the fasteners on the 20 millimeter screw, go ahead and remove them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our drone upside down, our frame upside down. We're just gonna basically drop these screws into these larger holes on the bottom and they should fall through and then stop. All right, so just one, two, three and four right there okay now if you want uh you can get like a little piece of tape i'm gonna grab one you can ask your you know, grab one or if you have a you know if you're if you're in a classroom ask your teacher for some just a little scotch tape or something and i'll, I'll show you why i'm just gonna grab some of this black tape just to help me out so here's the deal one of the biggest things that happens here is when we turn this frame the other way a lot of people are gonna see that these screws are gonna start falling out, right? So I'm just gonna put some tape over those holes just so that the screws don't fall all the way out. It kinda of, it kind of make you go crazy after a while. So just put a little bit of tape on there. And like I said, I only have this black tape here, but if you have like any kind of scotch tape, anything, just something small. See, now when I turn them over, they're gonna stop and they're not gonna fall through, but usually they'll fall straight through the frame. All right, once we're good with this, turn the frame over, okay? And now on your flight controller, you should have these red uh, soft mounts sitting in the holes right here, okay? And those soft mounts need to look like this. The USB port needs to be on the top, okay? Now, this is what it would look like if it was on the bottom. It would be underneath and you wouldn't be able to touch it. You want it on the top. This part is facing up and you should see this white arrow right here facing to the front, which is this area, the front of your frame, okay? <coughs> this plug should be going out the back of the frame. So with these red pieces in and the larger portion of the red piece being on the bottom, we're just gonna basically slide this flight controller uh, over these screws. And we're gonna put the screws through these four holes right here. So let's just go ahead. Now you can see if the tape wasn't on, this would have probably already fallen out because I'm pressing on these, trying to line them up. So just put the tape on there and make it a little bit easier. All right, there we go. So we have everything in, okay? And we'll worry about how to sort these wires out later. But right now what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that everything is set up. And then what we wanna do is go ahead and take your uh, green spacers here and go ahead and put them over the screw as well. That's going to give you a little bit of gap there between the screw, between uh, this board and the video transmitter that's going to go on top. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get you to that point right there. And that's just mounting your flight controller. Okay. Uh, this cable and this cable here, this one is going to be for your VTX, your video transmitter. This one is going to be for your camera. Both of these are going to go forward. This one is for your receiver. This one you can just kind of send to the back, all right? And once we hook the motors up, the one thing you're gonna notice is we're gonna have the black wire on this side and the red and yellow wire on this side. Black on the inside. So we're gonna to refer to this as the inside and this area as the outside. So this is inside the frame and this is the outside. So always the black wire in this build is gonna go on the inside. Okay, just like this, just like that. And the red and the yellow are gonna go on the outside. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. Black wire on the inside, red and yellow on the outside. Okay, and if you notice, it should be pretty much the yellow is gonna be below the red one and the black's gonna be sitting there, just like that. At this point, guys, you're done. Make sure everything looks just like this and we're gonna go on to step three, okay?